it is a weird one because your mind has to let go of the control for this experiential part to merge with it and become a unified field of much greater intelligence. A million things that take us out of the moment and it's really easy to lose this moment or the center or presence or what, but it really only takes a second to get back. That's why as soon as they did it once, the second time you'd already, something, the system's pretty intelligent and it gets a lot faster the more you practice this. If you start to recognize this in yourself, just recognize the tensions and the things and just the littlest bit. Every time you have one of those moments where you just, just, what I, I'm into microdosing meditation. <laughs> okay? You do one second where you just kind of make your alignment a little better. The musculature relaxes you. A second of alignment, a second of attunement, what do you want to call it? Where you just, and then a second of kind of appreciating whatever happened in that two seconds before, okay? So, uh, and you could do it for five seconds, but it really just takes a second of this and it's better. And then it's like the Buddha said, even by drops the bucket is filled. But it is a weird one because your mind has to let go of the control for this experiential part to merge with it and become a unified field of much greater intelligence. And the mind does not like to let go and it's always got a million reasons why you can't do it and you certainly can't do it now. You know, you know what I mean? But if, if you know that, then the handrail is back to the breath and it immediately moves you into feeling. And the one I like to play with is your as you're feeling the impulse to breathe, notice where the feeling of breath, the oxygenation, the aliveness, the vitality, notice where it's moving in your system. And that starts to bring you in deeper into your experience. Once mind and body are, once you're in this state, uh, like he said, there's less and less you have to learn. The path is, there is no path. The techniques show up, but it's not like you were gonna do it. It's not like, it's like you harmonize with what's happening and it happens. And I'm hoping you can play with your breath that way because it's a practice you can do anytime, all the time. Once you catch that feeling, it becomes a way of being. Aikido, a way of being. Being in harmony with that key that is breathing you. But it is a weird one because your mind has to let go of the control for this experiential part to merge with it and become a unified field of much greater intelligence. <laughs>